Welcome um, to what is, uh, rather confusingly, an ODI event being held very generously in DFID. So we're very um, delighted to be here in this uh, beautiful space. Um, thank you all very much for coming and uh, negotiating the awesome government security. Um, I have a couple of housekeeping announcements that if I don't make them right now, I will forget, so uh, let me do that. The first is if a fire alarm goes off, you go out um, by the nearest exit, which I assume is the one you came in, and the assembly point is on Horse Guards Parade. If any other alarm goes off, you uh, follow the instructions that you will be given through the alarm. Um, let's hope none of those things happen. Um, my name is Claire Melamed, and I'm the head of the Growth, Poverty and Inequality Programme um, at Overseas Development Institute, where, among other things, um, I lead ODI's work on the post-2015 agenda. Um, so it's great to be here for what I think is going to be a really interesting session. What we're trying to do today is to look backwards and forwards and talk a little bit about the experience of... Um, the experience of the high-level panel itself, what worked, what didn't, what are some of the lessons that um, we might be able to think about from the experience of consultation and other things that produce the high-level panel report, um, and how some of the lessons from that might be taken forward into other processes that are going to be leading to the post-2015 agenda, finally, we hope. Um, and then secondly, to think a little bit looking forwards at how the panel's report was received, how it seems to be shaping the politics, um, what was particularly, what's gone down well, what's gone down not so well, and what are the signals that that gives us about um, the likely content of any future goals, and more importantly at the moment, the politics that are developing around as people contest what those goals might be, how ambitious they're going to be, how much ground they should cover, and so on. Um, so we have on the panel a um, great group of people to, to help us answering that question. First of all, on my, on my right here, someone who I'm sure needs no introduction, Homi Karas, who headed the, the team that produced the high-level panel report, was the main author of that report, certainly been through the mill in the last uh, year or so, um, and yet is still here to tell the tale. So <laughs> welcome, Homi. On, on Homie's right, uh, David Hallam, who I'm delighted to say is the new um, UK Special Envoy on the post-2015 uh, agenda. So this is the first time you've been introduced in that role, I, I hope. I think it is. So, yeah. <laughs> we're breaking new ground already. <laughs> Welcome, David. And on my left, um, again, someone who I'm sure many of you know very well, Neva Freshville, who, were, who is the lead um, analyst at CAFOD on post-2015 and also the chair of the Beyond 2015 coalition of NGOs, many of whom I, I see in the room today. I also want to say, because there's always a danger, again, that I'm going to forget at the end, this has been quite a complex um, event to put together. Uh, we're not, uh, we used to, we can make events run within our building at ODI, run like clockwork, but this has been a slightly more challenging event. So I particularly wanted to thank um, the people that have been responsible for for, um, for making this happen. Gina Berg and Malcolm Anderson at ODI, James Alawi um, and Laura Dix at DFID, and the technical team who you can't see, but in fact we are streaming live to what I expect is over 100 people worldwide. So that has also been a big challenge. So Robert Labram and John Larlam at, um, at DFID, thank you very much, all of you, for, for making this happen. I'm going to ask Homie to kick off. Uh, David and then Neva to respond with a few thoughts of their own, and then we're going to throw it open to questions. So, hand me over to you. 